When we repair or build something, we often can't do without an electric drill. Today's various electric tool models are different structurally and in their multifunctional applications. Most producers try to make an instrument that supports as many functions as possible, and this is especially true for drills. But such products are not only unreliable, but also sometimes more fitted for preventive maintenance of such drills themselves. That's why there could never be a better function for a drill than the actual drilling itself. Selection of such tools is first of all based on trendy ergonomic cases made of large shock resistant materials and of course high performance characteristics, large capacities with speed control and reliable reduction gearbox. Now let's talk a bit about the structural peculiarities of an electric drill. The motor is based on a two-component demountable circuit that consists of a stator and a demountable rotor supported by two bearings. The left bearing is located directly inside the case of the drill, and the right one in the combined steel support together with the main reducer. Both the bearings are built as frictionless bearings with an immovable outer ring. The mechanical transmission is a single warm gearing. The warm gearing consists of a screw that is called a warm and a warm wheel, which is a type of spiral wheel. The base of the warm wheel transmits the rotation to the collar chuck through the friction bearing. The axle of the collar chuck needs to be accurately balanced to enable smooth rotation of the drill without beating. This helps to reliably secure the drill inside the chalk and drill holes without expanding the required diameter. A high precision button switch, 2 in 1, shunted by a spark suppressing reservoir, is used to power the tool and adjust operation of the motor. The heat generated by the hard working motor is compensated for by a compulsory cooler attached to the armature shaft. The capabilities, reliability and quality of operation of your tool in many respects depends on you, and you will get a chance to see that for yourself. Only incorrect use and lousy application can destroy the device earlier than designed.